it's a very interesting question because I'd start by saying each one of us thinks differently. And that's where the importance of diversity comes into play. And the perspective of looking at the problem from different ways actually usually enriches it. And that's why science is about, but it's also why different strategies to approach science that may be very analytical to more descriptive can at the end of the day enrich our understanding of that process. Now you come back for men and women, are our brains differently? Yes, we're finding that our brains are actually quite different. But so is my brain different from another woman? And so is my perspective of looking at something different affected by my own experiences? So, so your brain is a very plastic system that is, is learned. I mean, one of the things that the brain does is it learns upon experience. It physically changes. So if my experience is different from that of someone else, that is going to give me a perception of the reality that is distinct. Not because of I'm a woman or a male, but because my own experience has structured the architecture differently. Now, I find myself, I mean, in terms of, uh, I, because I'm a very, I, I like to actually, I love brains, so I am always figuring out how people look at things, and I'm fascinated by that. And if you were to ask me, is there a pattern that I recognize clear cut that is different between males and females on approaching at the process, I, I, I would lie if I say yes. I have not find, found that. What I do, I do find is that in general, in general, and again, I'm speaking of generalities because this is, uh, each individual is unique. Women, women perhaps tend to rely more, more on, more sensitive to emotional aspects of cognition that, than males. But, but this logical uh, sequence of thinking that in many instances is more ascribed to males is not something that necessarily I have seen consistently. And nor do I, because always, so once in a while you encounter someone that the way of thinking in, in so ma many ways reflects you, that you can actually predict very much where they are going to be going. And when you encounter someone like that, the dialogue is extraordinary. Because you can actually, you, you feed into each other. And actually your brain starts to work much, much better. I'm actually fascinated when that happens, when you get into someone which can actually allow your brain to work faster. And I encounter that, indeed, both in males and females. It has nothing to do with gender in my brain. It has to do with the way of perceiving the world. I, and so each one of us has, of, of course, how we look at things, they're, they're influenced by our, our own experiences, as we discussed, but there, there's also different styles. My brain is extraordinarily associative, so I link things back and forth. And when I encounter someone that links back and forth, my, my brain goes wild, because then, then it's sort of like we are resonating. But I don't see that as a male or a female.